Peace and universal family, it's your boy Cloxin. We are back with another video on the MPC Key 37. Today we are going to be going over how to make this sound like a SP404 and have SP404 effects to be more specific, you know. Um, one of the reasons why the SP404 is so loved by so many is because of the onboard effects it has that you can access super quickly, you know what I'm saying? You don't got a menu dive, you're going to do a million different things to be able to just activate the stutter or the cutoff filter or a tape stop, you know? One of the big things about how an instrument is classified as really great and legendary is a few different things, like the sound quality of an instrument or the capabilities of a certain sampler and also the hands-on experience, you know? Do I got to go through three different menus to get to one effect or is the one button right here, boom, that does it for me, you know? The faster it is and the easily accessible things are, it makes that device so much better. So when y'all be going to these DJ sets and you know these producer camps and the ones I be these be going to, everybody got an SP four four. So I'm like, damn, should I get an SP four four, or should I stick with my dream machine right here, MPC, and just figure out how to do the same thing? So that's what we're gonna be going over today. Y'all know I'm Team MPC. In my eyes, this is like one of the greatest instruments ever created because it's literally a synth and an MPC merged into one. You can't beat that. Come on. I could have a Moog on here. I could have a Ju Juno on here. Like I could have damn near all the synths that I love on this thing. Plus, I can chop. Like, come on, it's the best of both worlds. But enough of that. Let's get straight to it, y'all. So we'll be showing y'all how to register these Q links on the MPC and make them act like effect knobs, just like on the SP404. So let's get it. All right, y'all. So let's get straight to it. We're gonna go to the home screen. We're gonna be, I'm gonna be showing you how to do this in MPC3, so make sure you got the newest update on your MPC. And we're gonna get straight to it. So, to start off, I suggest making a little quick loop first. You know, get you some sound in the MPC. And some drums or whatever, so. Right? Get your loop going so you'll know how to affect the sounds or whatever, and what you're gonna be affecting. So, this is just a basic loop, right? Now, I want y'all to focus on a few things. Right, I want you to focus on a few things. We this screen right here, we see, you see these little two little sections right here. When we click on that, it opens them up. And what we want to focus on is this right here. Normally, it'll probably be on this screen. We're gonna go all the way over here to I O. Okay, hit that, and it's gonna allow us to choose where we want the audio to route out to. By default, it routes out to output one and two. We want to output our sample and every track we have to a sub mix. So we're gonna click on that. We're gonna scroll up to submix one. All right. So now it's being routed to submix one. We're gonna click right there. I just just I just move the plus and minus. You can just go over. You can also hold the main button if you got an MPC key thirty seven like me. You can just hold this button and go between uh, tracks. Yeah, all right. So we just we just uh, routed the sample to submix, and now I'm gonna go over to the drums and do the same thing. So the drums route those to submix one. So now both sample and drums are routing to the submix, okay? And this is gonna be helpful. So when we do the effects, we won't have to put the effects on each individual track. All we gotta do is put all the effects we need on the submix, and the submix is gonna affect both of our tracks. So now that we did that, let's go over to the actual submix channel, which is always right here even if we don't actually have the open one it's always a submix open it's like a bus so we have four effects we can choose from and you can even uh, extend it further if you like chain it and daisy chain it away we're not going to be doing that in this video we're just going to uh, showcase at least a good four effects so let's load it up with some effects and then after that it'll be the last process which is programming the q-links so for now we're going to go with a i love filter effects I do a lot in Serato when I'm doing my sets, so we're going to do an elf air filter to start it off with, y'all. Yeah. And then, second effect, let's go to harmonics. And go all the way down here to, this is where the sauce is at. X, Y, F, X effects. Hit it. Beat repeat, y'all. Beat repeat, okay? We're going to keep that on that one. And then, we're going to do... Another one, we're going to do a tape stop. X, Y, F, X effects. Click that. Go down here to some more stuff. 
tape stop all right so we got three effects now and then let's do one more effect we got a tape stop we got a repeater we got a filter what else should we do y'all should we do like a delay or something an air delay let's do a delay whatever all right so we got four effects how do we route them to the q-links and make it to where when we move these q links it doesn't control other things because right now if I, if I play it that's kind of crazy because it's playing all the effects at once we don't want that but i'm gonna show y'all in a minute um when, when i play it and whenever when, no matter what i do if i go to a different screen now the q links control the global tempo when i go here now the q links control the time division and the swing when i go here or here it control the, the loop time, you know? The Q links keep changing depending on what screen I'm on. If we want to change that, we go to Shift, Q link edit, which is right here, the button's right here. Or you can just double tap it. And we're gonna change it from screen to project one, all right? And now as we can see, we got these four Q links right here. And it's actually 16 if we go to different banks, but we're just gonna be doing four. So what we're gonna do is focus on, we're gonna focus on the first Q link. Hit plus. Hit submix, submix one, insert one. Pause the video and slow it down if you need to. So the first effect we had was a filter effect. So since that was a filter effect, it's asking us what do you want to do with the filter effect? Do you want when you move the Q link to just enable the filter effect? Do you want to change the types of modes and presets the filter effect has? Or do you want it to control the saturation? Like it's a lot of different parameters we can do with that filter effect i wanted to just control the cutoff frequency of that filter effect. that's what i want to do so whenever i move this q link i wanted to control the cutoff frequency okay second one we did was um what was the second one we did let me double check second one was a uh, beat repeat right yep beat repeat second one was a beat repeat okay and to get to this screen it's simple you just either double tap the q link button or you hit shift q link all right plus Submix again, submix one, because everything is going to submix one. We go to our second effect, which is B repeat, and then this these options are different because it's a different type of effect. So for B repeat, all we want to do is just enable B repeat. That's what that's gonna do. Third Q link right here. Submix one. What was this effect? It was the third effect, which was I believe was a tape stop. So I'll, again, enable. Last one was a delay. Don't really care too much about this one. But we're gonna do it. Submix one, submix, insert four, and we can just do. Uh, since it's a delay, we can do. We can, let's control the top, the, the just the mix of the delay. I guess we can just do that. Or the t yeah, let's do the mix. It's fine. All right. So now when I hit main, since the Q links are in project mode, when I play the beat. Now, whenever I touch them, it controls the effects. So now, I'm controlling the cutoff frequency on the top. B repeat. Stop. And this is a delay. And we can also control all the intricate things within those effects. So if we wanted to go to, like, for example, the tape stop, which was the third one, right? We wanted to like slow it down. Now the tape stop. It'll, it'll pan out. Watch this. Go back to, to that. Submix one. Effect three. Enable. See how it's a little slower now versus the attack. See what I'm saying? And 
And same for the uh, beat repeat. If you wanted a different type of beat repeat. So there's three different ones. No matter what screen we go to, y'all. So that's it, y'all. So yeah, yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed that. It's a pretty fun video to make. Um, future videos, let me know what y'all want to see. I finally got my full synth set up. As y'all can see, I'm a little tired today, long day. But um, we, we, got, we knocked out the video, which is great. I did want to talk to y'all for a quick second about the NPC videos. I'm not an NPC channel, y'all, but I do want to showcase what I have, you know. I've wanted this for a long time, so now that I have it, I want to showcase y'all some of the tips and tricks because it's it's hard to be finding some of these tutorials out here, y'all. Like especially on MPC three, it's not as much in depth videos on every single feature as I thought it was. A lot of people are hiding it behind courses and classes. And I'm like, come on, y'all, just share it with the people. So I took it upon myself to kind of post some of the videos that I wish there was more of. And uh, shout out to um, old boy. Shout out to old boy Abstract Music for the video idea because he's the one I really saw even before I had an NPC to make the NPC sound like the uh, SP4 horse. So shout out to him. And uh, yeah, yeah. So if I have more ideas and things I've learned that the NPC can do, I'll, I'll do my best to try to make a video out if I can. But don't, please don't think of me as, as an NPC channel. I'm not one of those. They're real dedicated people who do this way more than I do. Please support them. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to uh, Av McCree. He's one of the people I watch. Uh, Bolo, all them. You know what I'm saying? They're like for real, for real NPC channels and just music, solid music producers. I don't even like saying NPC channels. Like music producers who really know their stuff. And you know what I'm saying? I'm still new to the game. And I'm, I'm getting there. You know what I'm saying? With every passing day, I'm getting better and better. But like... I. Uh, Give me some grace. All right, that's basically what I'm saying. <laughs> but um, outside of that, thank y'all for watching. My next video is probably gonna be um, since because I've been getting heavy into since lately and studying them. So I want to kind of bring y'all into that world, especially the, for the OGs who don't really know much about it or don't tinker. I won't say no, know much about it, but people who don't tinker with that side of the sense and just mess with the hardcore NPC chops. I want to show y'all the other world, like how you can really get into the sense and sound design and why this one's so cool because we got the keys you know what i'm saying and if you don't even know how to play keys you can go you can uh do chord progressions on the pad and still make fire bass lines and all kind of stuff but that's another video i don't want to bore y'all thank y'all for watching tapping in it's love y'all and peace